Hey guys! So I know it's been a while, but I went on vacation for like two months and didn't really have the time or ability to film, but here I am. Um, today I'm just going to kind of do um, my favorites of some beauty products. Some of them aren't cruelty free. Like I've mentioned, some stuff I have bought before. Before I switched over to buying cruelty free and unfortunately a couple of the things I bought I bought when I didn't really look at the labels and I wasn't really paying attention and some of the stuff like I just really needed it and I just grabbed it and went and I wasn't thinking I'll kind of explain as I go which ones are and which ones aren't um, I'm gonna start with this one I don't think this one is cruelty free I believe it is not. Um, it is Matrix BioLace and it is a hydrating hair mask. This one I'm not complaining about. I got this one for free because some lady jacked up my hair with um, chemicals. I told her that I had had dye and bleach and everything on my hair and she told me, oh it's no big deal. <clears throat> jacked up my hair. So I came back the next day, talked to the manager. She gave me this for free. It works wonders. It's not something I would buy for myself because of the fact that it's not cruelty free. But when you get something for free to help your hair whenever... My hair was literally like, it felt like glue. Like I could not touch my hair. I could not brush it. I couldn't... When I would wash it, pieces of it would just like fall out. Like chunks of my hair were falling out. So this actually saved my hair. So I'm not complaining. I mean, it sucks that it's not cruelty free, but... When I buy it myself, it will be cruelty free because I did research and I found some really great hair masks that are cruelty free. I did have one that I had gotten from Sally's that was cruelty free. I do not have it anymore because I used it all, but yeah, so I got that. Um, <clears throat> these ones are not cruelty free. This one I had bought before. My acne stuff lasts a long time. I don't really, well, and I went on vacation for two months and I couldn't bring it on the plate, so it's lasted for a while. Um, this is my favorite one, which sucks because it's not cruelty free, so now I have to go find another favorite one. I'm gonna try to show you all the stuff that's not cruelty free first, that way I can just get all the bad stuff out of the way. But this one is from, um, it's a deep acting exfoliating scrub. This one I like, it smells like mint. And it just, it smells so good. It makes my face so soft. And it's, I use it in the morning when I take a shower. And it kind of is like a wake me up because of the mint and everything. And it's just, it's really, really great. And it's one of the exfoliating ones, which I heard they're not going to be making the exfoliating scrubs anymore. I hope that's not true because I really, really like exfoliating scrubs. Hopefully that's not true. But yeah, this one isn't cruelty free, so I do not plan on buying it anymore. Do not plan. I will not be buying it anymore. Um, I have been looking at other ones. I obviously haven't bought any. I still have quite a lot left in there, so I haven't bought any more. Um, within the next couple weeks, I'll probably be looking at some more to buy. Um, oops. This is my other one that um, was given to me, and it's actually really, really well. It's also, again, it's not cruelty-free, but it was given to me by someone that didn't realize that I only purchased cruelty free stuff now but it's no big deal you know well it is a big deal but I mean I'm not gonna turn down a gift and I mean and it works really well I know it is expensive so I'm definitely not gonna turn it down but um this is the clean and clear night relaxing deep cleaning face wash deep cleaning I was gonna say cleansing um this works really well I use it at nighttime when I remember to wash my face at night Sometimes I don't remember, but when I remember I use this and it actually it says that it winds you down washes away daily buildup And it has sea minerals and sea kelp extract um, It does wind you down a lot. It's kind of like it kind of smells like chamomile in a way So it actually does really wind you down and it actually is really really great and it works pretty well I think so it kind of smells really good, too So that's a plus I like stuff that smells good um, this again is not cruelty free. I don't use this a lot. I've actually had this for a couple of years because I forget about it. It was in a cabinet and I literally forgot about it. And then when I was with my ex, I just used all of his <laughs> and it was the same stuff. So this has been sitting in my bag for 
like a year but I still use it because it was freaking like 10 bucks and that's a lot to be spending on your face but um, it's clear pore oil eliminating astringent it says it effectively treats and helps prevent breakouts without over drying this is um like a toner you put it on after you clean your face um, it works it works really really well again I'm gonna have to find a different one because it is not cruelty free unfortunately but I bought this my senior year when I didn't really know everything about all of that you know before I really researched and really got into buying cruelty free stuff so forgive me I have seen what else do I have that's not cruelty free I have a couple of things that I'm not completely sure about um one of my favorite perfumes, let's see if it is cruelty free. It doesn't say on the bottle, but one of my favorite perfumes is this Hollister one. And does it have a scent? Yeah, I guess it's called Addison. I really like the flower, it's really pretty. This is my favorite perfume. It smells phenomenal, especially on me. I got this as a Christmas gift a couple years ago. I don't use perfume that often, and I have loads of perfume. I could do a perfume collection I guess I have a lot of perfume so I use different ones all the time I really really like this one but I don't think Hollister is cruelty free I could be wrong I could be right I don't know but it was a gift um, and then I have this one which again I don't know if it's cruelty free um, this is by Bethany Mota and I guess it's called XOXO Beth uh, it's really really cute it has like glittery at the bottom it's really cute it has this cute little heart thing and the lid is really cute with a little bow. Uh, again, I don't know if this is cruelty free. It was bought at Aeropostale. It was a gift as well. I'm not sure. I've never heard of this brand before I got it. But oh my gosh, this is... It might be tied with the Hollister. This smells really, really good. The Hollister is more of like a... I don't know how to explain it. It's more of like a neutrally smell where it's not super sweet. Yeah, it's more of like a neutrally. It's not sweet. It's not anything. This is like a really sweet smell. So on days that like I like to smell sweeter, I put this one on. Yeah. Um, that's not one that I grabbed. Um, th this one is cruelty free. This one's I don't think so. Again, I don't know much about Carmex, but. I've had this Carmex since I was in high school because I have so many chapsticks that, and now I've switched over to um, the EOS or EOS or whatever, however you call it. I switched over to that, um, like my junior year, so I've been using that a lot. So my Carmex I only use occasionally, and I don't know if that's cruelty free. I guess I could have grabbed my EOS too. EOS is really great. Um, but I made my own lip scrub with sugar and coconut oil so I know that's cruelty free because my coconut oil is cruelty free and sugar is cruelty free so and then I kind of just put it into this little jar that I had but I need to put more coconut oil in it because I just dropped it all over the place but it's this little scrub stuff you just scrub it on your lips it gets rid of all the the dryness on your lips which I get a lot because I wear lipstick all the time and then the Carmex you put on top of it because it keeps it from getting more dried out because you just put that stuff on it to take all the dry stuff off and that helps keeps your lips moisturized after doing that. So I really really like that. Um, I guess we'll do my lashes now. I don't wear lashes often. I only wear them for like special occasions. These ones I don't remember the brand um, but these ones are cruelty free. I know because I made sure when I bought them because I just bought them recently. But these are the Demi Wispies and I can only see like one because they kind of stuck together. I don't wear them often. I wore them for my going away party a little while ago. And then these ones, I don't know. I think they are cruelty free because it says they're made from 100% human hair. So, I don't know. But these ones I bought a long time ago. I don't use them very often. They're very dramatic. So, but I don't use fake lashes often anyways because I just don't. Um, after that, you know, um, Victoria's Secret lip gloss is not cruelty free, but I've had this one since like junior year and I don't really use it. I just every now and then pull it out and smell it. <laughs> this is the best smelling stuff in the whole entire wide world. You will find nothing better smelling than this. And it is called Sugar High and it is phenomenal. It's a clear lip gloss, as you can see. 
Um, I've had it since I think my sophomore year of high school, so that's like four, five years ago. So yeah, it smells phenomenal and it's glittery. So I don't use it often because I'm kind of into like the matte lipstick right now, but maybe at some point I'll use it again. We'll find out. Um, after that, I can talk about these. I talked about these in another video. I think I did a review on them or at least one of them. Um, these are by Wet n Wild, which is cruelty free. And they're little sparkle gel, they're eyeshadows. I use this one sometimes as a highlighter when I really want my highlighter to really stand out. I haven't used it recently because I got a new highlighter, which I will talk about next since I'm talking about it. And then this one I've used a lot in my Instagram pictures. You've probably seen it on my eyes a lot. This one I don't use as often, but I use it like in the corner of my eyes sometimes when I want to add like a sparkle to my eyes. <clears throat> so highlighter we can talk about my I found this recently it's by hard candy which is cruelty free it's called glow all the way and this is in the color doll face which is 319 and it looks like this and actually I'll show you just a little bit it comes out like in liquid form it's a liquid highlighter and I'll rub it in really quick and it's kind of pink so it kind of has like that pinky look to it that's what it looks like after you rub it but um, I don't know if you can see that because my hand's like so white. But yeah, you can see it right there. Oops, right there. So you can kind of see where it kind of glows a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> it's really, really great. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's not like, it's very subtle highlight It because of how I put it on. I mean, I can make it into a more harsh highlight, but I don't want a very harsh highlight because I'm already so pale. I don't need a harsh highlight. But yeah. Um, for setting spray, I like to use the e.l.f. Mist and Set, and it has aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and I don't know what the last one is because it's cut off, but it looks like this. Um, this works really, really well with my skin and everything. I don't use it all the time. I only use it when I plan on having my makeup on for a very long time, but it works really, really well. I love it. I don't buy any other setting spray. Except for that. Um, then for my concealer, it's kind of funny. If you guys have watched my videos, you know I use a green lipstick for concealer. <laughs> and I tried to use my an actual green concealer. But I found that this green lipstick works really, really well. Um, and it's kind of funny. This is um, by Lovely Girl is the brand. But the actual name of it is called Kristen. So I find that kind of funny. If anyone knows my real name, you understand why that's funny. That's not my name, by the way. People pronounce it that way, but that's not my name. But it's a green lipstick. I use it for a green concealer. Works better than green concealer. Don't know how that works. But then my actual concealer, I use the Wet n Wild Coverall in the color Light, which is a little bit too dark for me. But once I put that green on, and then I put that, and then I put my foundation on, I kind of am able to blend it all together so it works. But this... I love because I like the texture, I like the stick concealer, I like it <laughs> a lot. It works really, really well. Um, primers, I have two primers that I really, really like. Um, I like the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer, which is this one. I did a review on this one, I know for a fact. And then I love the e.l.f. primers. I love all of e.l.f. primers, but I have found this one, and it's a blemish control, and it actually has... Um, What's it called? Oh, salicic, salicylic, salicylic acid, salicylic acid. What is that stuff that fights acne? Oh my gosh! It. I don't know if it works completely yet because I kind of get really bad acne, which is why I put on foundation. I think I did a video on how to cover acne, but my acne's gotten worse since then. Because I I get stress acne, I get all this stuff. So it works really well. It smells really good. And it's a really good primer. Elf makes amazing primers, just saying. But I swear by Elf by any product, any product that's Elf, I probably have tried and liked. Like I was gonna show you my lipsticks, all like all my lipsticks that I like, but I kind of narrowed it down to like the three that I've been using lately because I haven't really used anything else, which I guess I'll show you. But uh, oh well, I guess four because. But this one's almost gone. This is my favorite. It's Tarte in the color Lively, and Tarte is cruelty free. I had someone try to tell me that Tarte was not cruelty free, and I'm sorry, but it is. 
So there's Tarte, and this is my favorite color. And see what I mean by it's all out? That's literally all that's left. Like, there's nothing left in it. But this is my favorite color. I'll show you. That is my favorite color, and it looks amazing on me, and I'm pretty sure I did a video that had that. Um, in my Instagram pictures lately, people, I've been asked a couple times over messaging and everything what lipstick I'm wearing. And lately, it's been this one, which is by Hard Candy, and it's the color Wisteria. And it's like a purple, but I put like on a bunch of layers, so it's kind of like a purpley black when I wear it. But let me show you. Oh, and these smell so good. You have no idea. It's that one on top. Sorry about my pin mark. And then um, my other one that I've been wearing a lot is also by Hard Candy. And it's in the color Dahlia. And it looks like that. And these are liquid to matte lipsticks, by the way. For anyone who was wondering. And these are my new favorite lipsticks because I love them so much. <laughs> they are super super velvety it's this one right here they're super super velvety they don't really dry out your lips they stay on for a long long time like I mean I can eat drink everything and it, it's still on you know um I think I put this on this morning and I ate a couple hard-boiled eggs and I ate um, some chicken and I drink a bunch of drinks with straws and with cups and everything still looks good it's not cracking it's not coming off nothing and then my other one that I don't wear as often is, because I've been in kind of the darker lipsticks lately, this one's called Cherry Blossom. This one's super pretty too. This is the first one I got by them. But also these, I don't know if I said it already, but these smell phenomenal. And I mean it, like, they smell like cake. That's what they smell like. So that's that one. So that's all of those. This one's actually pretty close to that tart almost. But, um, yeah. So those are my favorite lipsticks. At the moment I mean that can change at any time just like all these products are gonna some of them are gonna change but I just thought I would do this because people have been asking um, again elf <laughs> cream eyeliner um, I wear it every time if you've watched any of my makeup tutorials that's what I wear so yeah my elf cream eyeliner and my elf high definition powder which actually this is amazing because every time I get a powder it never matches the foundation that I put on so it's always like really wonky and annoying and all that stuff so I finally caved in and I bought the because it's a little bit more expensive than the foundation I was buying before the powder foundation it's white so I mean it doesn't affect my makeup at all and I love it then this other one I got is a Milani bronzer I am not sure if this is cruelty free I think I bought this before and then I had it in my makeup bag of stuff that I don't ever use I think one of the bronzers I bought and they were kind of similar one of them I bought was way 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 too dark and one of them I bought was perfect which is this one and I don't remember which one I bought and which one I had had for a long time it was sitting in my thing but this one works perfect because this one I use on my cheeks because I like my cheeks to be darker and then this one I use like on my nose and on my chin and everything else because I don't really like them to be darker but I like them to be contoured and sculpted and everything I'm pretty sure this is cruelty free I think it said in the box that it was cruelty free I could be wrong though I'm not sure but for all of you that are freaking out that oh my gosh it's not cruelty free because I get that crap um, I'm working on it. I'm not just going to throw my stuff away because it's not cruelty free. Spend money on that. Again, e.l.f. Anyone who's watched my makeup products knows this is my favorite palette ever. This is literally the only thing I use now. Except for I went on vacation and I literally missed this so much because I couldn't do all my colors and all the stuff that I liked. And then... I have two brushes. I didn't realize how much I loved these brushes until I tried switching brushes. But this one is a Clinique blush brush. And I'm pretty sure Clinique's not cruelty free, but I've had this since my freshman year of high school, maybe even earlier. And that's it's so old. Like it literally it's missing hairs and everything on it. But I tried to switch to a new blush brush and it just did not do what I wanted it to do. So this one's staying. 
Um, same with, I have, this one's by Estee Lauder, and I know that they are cruelty free. This is a foundation brush, but I use it for my contouring, and you guys all know that. I tried to buy an actual contouring brush, and I couldn't talk myself into buying it because I like the way this one feels. Like, it just, it's perfect. Well, now you're getting replaced. <laughs> it's perfect because it's like the right density that I want and it's so soft and it works like you know and I was I carried this one around and I was kind of messing with it and I was trying to figure out if I wanted it and I could not talk myself into buying it because it was not good enough. I didn't realize how much I liked these until that moment. But yeah, so those are my favorite products. And yeah, I mean, those aren't, like, my only favorite products. I mean, like, I like all my makeup, but those are, like, pretty much, like, my go-tos and stuff that I use every day. And actually, I think I forgot to talk about this one. I did. This is my Heart Candy Foundation. I love this foundation so much. It's a liquid to um, powder foundation. I still put powder on over it because... I just feel more comfortable with powder on over it. This is in the color Porcelain, which is 930, and this is the lightest foundation they have. Um, and this one matches me perfectly. I have never, for through any other brand, been able to find one that's light enough to match my skin tone. Here it is. And I was just blown away. And it's cruelty-free, which is amazing, because it's really hard to find. I went to Walmart. They only had three brands out of all of their makeup, and they had like five aisles of makeup. They were cruelty free, and they were like little itty bitty tiny sections. They had Hard Candy, they had Elf, and they had this new one called Flower. I've never used it before. I was curious about it, but I didn't want to because it was kind of expensive, and I hadn't heard of them or bought them before. So I'm kind of like, do I want to spend all this money on it? What if it sucks? You know. So I didn't. Maybe I will. Um. But, yeah, it was like, there are little itty bitty tiny sections of it, like it was, it was ridiculous. But anyways, those are my favorite, all those non cruelty free ones you see, as soon as they're gone, I'll try to do reviews on the stuff that I replace them with that are cruelty free. Stupid, but everyone keeps messaging me, oh my gosh. But, um, yeah, I will try to do a review on all the stuff that I do buy that is cruelty free, that I bought in replace of it. And I will do a video on that. As soon as I get all of them replaced, I'll do that. That way, I'm not doing a bunch of them at a different time. Alright, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Alright.